Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to episode 2 of series 2 of my note taking series. So in this video I'm going to be flipping through and showing you how I made my year 12 ATAR chemistry notes. In my last video I flipped through and showed you how I made my year 12 ATAR economics notes and in the next three videos that I post I'll be showing you how I made my methods, spec and English notes. But this video is on chemistry, so let's get started. And my chemistry notes are my favourite notes of all the ones I made this year. So I'm super excited to show them to you. Here they are. So if we open up my notes, here is my lovely cover page. And then turning over to the first page. Here on this section on the back of the cover page, as I went along throughout the year and just before my final exam, I realised there were some things that I needed to know that I hadn't really written anywhere else in my notes. So I wrote them here, so that's for example green chemistry, that's one example of something that's not really, it's not really like a topic that we learnt but it's just something that we needed to know. A little extra thing we needed to know for the exam so I just put it there. Then here at the front of my folder is the very last thing I made for my chemistry notes and it is a summary of all of the topics from the whole year put onto one A3 piece of paper. And I made this before my WACE exam because I believe one of the best methods of revising and memorising content for me is to try and condense and condense information as much as possible. So that's what I did on this sheet. So I've just got organic, rates and equilibrium, acids and bases and redox because those were the four topics we did this year. And as you can see, I've really condensed the information and I fit it all onto one A3 piece of paper, which I was quite proud of. So that goes at the front of my folder, even though it was the very last thing I made. But um, it goes at the front because it's an overview. So then we just go through my folder and it's organised topic by topic. So the first topic that we studied this year, and this is different to other schools, most schools do this one last, but we did it first, is organic chemistry, which was my favourite um, chemistry topic. <laughs> so here, this is my sheet, my A3 sheet that I made of organic reactions. Organic chemistry was the only topic I wasn't able to do a one page summary mind map for just because I found that there was so much information I physically couldn't put it all onto one page, which I obviously could because I did it there. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, this is my organic reaction sheet. So I just have all of the different seven organic reactions that we learned about on this sheet. Um, so that's like part of my organic notes, um, as you can see. Obviously I included lots of diagrams and formulas because it's chemistry and you need to, but I also included a table there, as you can see, which is a good way to spice up your notes. And you can see I've used a lot of colour on this sheet as well when I've been highlighting, but I've been careful to not over highlight because all of the information on this piece of paper was important so I just had to highlight the really really important information. So that goes in there and then we move on through my organic notes. So as we go through my folder you'll see I um, did all of my notes a little differently for each topic but this is how I did them for organic. I just used blue, pink and green highlighter and the orange sticky notes is something I wanted to talk about because this is something I did right before my waste exam. I went through all of my notes and then I added in the information that was missing from my notes that I thought I needed to know. And that's something really, really important to do is add to your notes as you go along. And a really quick way to do that, really quick and easy way, is just writing the information on a post-it note and sticking it in your notes and as you can see I've done this um, regularly throughout all of my notes and you'll see that as we flip through. I really love these notes that I've done here, I don't know why, I just think they're really nice. I just think they worked out really well, really nice and neat and I've only got the important information on. I really did condense it down and it's very clear to see where everything is and I don't know, I just like these pages of notes. Mm, these are my favourite notes. Okay. Continuing, there we have saponification. And this next little page on solubility was one of the little kind of other topics that we had like a little analysis task on. It wasn't like a main topic. So I just summarised all the important information from that task onto one page and there it is for solubility and I've added a sticky note as you can see. Now we move on to rates and equilibrium. So you can see the change in like the colours that I've used. I used mild liners for this one and I used the Stabilo Boss pastel highlighters for these ones. So I've just switched up my highlighting key from topic to topic just to kind of differentiate between the topics in my head and make each different topic stand out 
more clearly in my head. I find that's a really good way to do it. And I love these notes as well. All of the little diagrams I drew, like I drew thermometers and a little beaker to show the concentration changing. And these diagrams weren't necessary diagrams, but I just think that including diagrams in your notes is really, really helpful because it adds visual interest, breaks up the words, and it's been scientifically proven that if you include diagrams in your notes, you are more likely to remember the information. So just continuing through my rates and equilibrium notes, you can see some graphs here that I've just drawn to um, illustrate some things I'm talking about in my notes and I've added another sticky note there. Lots of graphs in these notes and it's really important for me to have these graphs in my notes because I might have to recreate some in my exam. I did. I had to recreate which one? Where was it? I had to recreate one of these ones in my exam um, but sometimes they have these and these and these so it's just important to be aware of how you label the axes and how you draw each different graph so including them in your notes is a sure way of remembering that and then we just move on through my notes keeping going um, okay so then I actually ran out of plastic sleeves and I <laughs> I had to put this one page summary over the top of another page of notes. So there's another page of notes there. It's not really important though. Um, anyway, there we have my one page summary for rates of reaction and equilibrium. Not too much information on that page. As you can see, this was probably the smallest topic and the one I found kind of, no, not the easiest, but it just had least information to like remember. And then on this page, this is my one page summary for like those these reaction things that we had to know like biodiesel, the production of ethanol, the contact process, the Haber process, etc, etc. Um, so that's just my one page summary for that and I had the more detailed notes there um, at the end of those notes. And then we move on to your acids and bases. So I went back to using my Stabilo Boss pastel highlighters for these ones and also for the next topic actually just because they don't smudge as much as the mild liners so I found it a bit easier to do more quickly. So yeah, here are my acids and bases notes. I'm not really a fan of them to be honest, but I did try to keep them not too long. So they're fairly condensed, probably could have been a bit more condensed, but um, anyway, they're all, they're all right. Got some graphs in there, got a table in there, making sure to mix it up as usual. And even like little things like this just help, I don't know, make your notes a bit more visually interesting and make the information stand out. So yeah, as you can see, I've got a little post-it note there, still going on with my post-it notes. That's a really, really important thing to do to add information into your notes that's not already there, like important information that you need to know. If you didn't have it in your notes, then once you find out about it, always put it in because you don't want to be not able to remember it in the exam. And there's my little diagram of a titration. Very nice to you, very nice. Um, yep, and here is my one page summary for acids and bases there. So as you can see, I've put all of the information onto one page. I did make a video a while ago on how to make one page summaries. So I'll link it up in the top right hand corner, but it is from a very long time ago. I think I still had braces. So beware, I was not as confident on camera back then as I am now but anyway continuing on to redox and redox I had to make these notes in a really big rush because I was away at nationals and I'd missed all this content and then I had the test the morning after I'd flown back the night before it was just a bit of a bit of a rush so these notes are very rushed but um here they are so redox is reduction and oxidation reactions and they have all these galvanic and electrochemical cells. It was my least favorite topic, but something that was very crucial to include in my notes was diagrams. So there's a diagram there. And if we turn the page, there's gonna be heaps more diagrams. And chances are you will have to recreate a galvanic or an electrochemical cell diagram in your exam because it's quite a big part of redox and redox is one of the four topics so there's probably going to be one of these cells in your exams so put them in your notes. That's a common theme throughout this video. And I had a little flow chart here which I kind of covered up with that sticky note but um, yeah well, what's that flow chart? No I don't know what that's called. Anyway I had something there, have a little diagram there and my colour coding key, I don't really have a colour coding key for chemistry it was just kind of like dependent on the topic, but I normally use yellow for titles. And in Redox, at the start, I was using pink for oxidation and blue for reduction, green for rules, and 
like this kind of orangey color for just random information and purple for reactions so I kind of do have a color coding key but it just depends on the topic and it changes from topic to topic because the information in each topic and the things that you have to include in your notes is so different so I kind of have a key for each topic but it's quite hard to explain so yeah if you want to have a color coding key in your notes I'd probably just make your own one up it's best if you use your own one and not mine probably because you do you and I'll do me. Okay, these notes definitely could have been condensed, but I didn't have time to actually think about condensing them. I just had to write all the information down and hope for the best. And here was my one page summary for Redox. But when I made this one page summary, we still hadn't done one more topic, which was corrosion because basically for each chemistry topic, we had two tests. We had a mid topic test and an end of topic test. And I made this before the mid topic test and then we learnt corrosion before the end of topic test. So that's why this is here and it doesn't include corrosion but as you can see it's quite jam packed with information so it's probably for the best that I didn't have to squish corrosion onto there. And there's corrosion. I don't think I had to do anything about corrosion in my exam so that double page spread is a waste of time. But hindsight is a beautiful thing and I didn't know that at the time. So yeah I've kind of carried through with my colour coding key here using the pink for oxid no pink for wait what pink for oxidation and blue for reduction um there and then if we flip through these notes i made these at the start of the year for organic but then i realized they were way too long and lengthy and i changed my note taking technique because i hate writing on paper with lines as you will know if you watch my economics note taking video um so i rewrote my organic notes because I'd changed my note taking technique and also these were just way too long like way too long oh my gosh I look look how long this is this is ridiculous this is like a textbook is shorter than this honestly still going still going still going <laughs> oh my gosh okay see and I wrote my organic notes see that's that's the end and I wrote my organic notes at the start in like how many pages oh I need to put that back in the plastic sleeve like one And that's my organic notes. Like, those ones at the end were just so ridiculous. I sharpened up my note-taking technique as I went through the year and cut that all out. So I just shoved it at the back because I had made the notes, but I didn't really need them anymore. But I'd made them, so I wanted to include them. So yeah, and my camera battery is flashing. So I'm going to go charge it and then film the outro for this video. Alrighty, so those are all of the notes that I made during year 12 for ATAR Chemistry. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have and you'd like to see more of my note taking, then feel free to go and watch my previous video because it's a flip through of all of my ATAR economics notes. And I also have just finished my WACE exams and I've logged them all for you. So that's a long half an hour vlog. If you have time to go and watch that, you can go watch it. I'll link it up here or here somewhere. I always... I always Go, go the wrong corner but anyway it's on my channel so you can go watch me suffering through waste exams if you would like um i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below i'm free from school now so i've got heaps of time to make videos so comment down below any video suggestions i've got my 1k subscriber q a coming up soon i haven't forgotten about it i promise it's coming out very soon thank you so much for all of your questions and if you do have any last minute q a questions comment them down below as well and also i am selling these notes i have quite a few copies of them because what i do is i write them and and then I photocopy them before I highlight them because that stops my highlighter smudging. So I do have quite a few copies of these notes. So if you would like to buy a copy of these notes, please comment down below or email me or DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is tia.chitty. So follow me on Instagram at tia.chitty and DM me if you want any more information about purchasing a copy of my chemistry notes or notes for any other ATAR subjects. I have them for economics, chemistry, methods, spec, and English. So DM me if you want to purchase hard copies of my notes, but otherwise please subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you soon. Bye!